All right, this is our uh, pop-up trailer. It is a uh, 2006 StarCraft Centennial Model 3608. Hey, Macy. What you doing? So this is the backside dinette pullout. <clears throat> we do have some outside speakers and a little outside light. And uh, this little guy here is for an outside grill. Now ours didn't come with it, but thinking about getting it, depending on what we end up doing this is the uh, propane lead for that grill so if we want to use the two big propane tanks that are on there we can just plug in it's like a quick disconnect got little uh, 12 volt plug-ins we have something that we want to power outside let's see yeah, I didn't think there was anything back there but all right, um, we got a little storage spot here. We have an actual radio inside. Dual prote propane tanks and dual batteries. So there's plenty of power for everything except for the air conditioner. We have a onboard water heater we have a city inlet for water and and the other tank is for just a water it's a water tank and we have a cool little uh, outside shower and the the last compartment there on the slide out is for storage you can access, there's a, access to a small storage bay from the outside. All right, so you have a little bit better view here of all that. Let's go inside. So you have a full door. And so you got little curtains kind of everywhere. You can have your privacy if you want to sleep. There's ways to black out all the windows, but we haven't gotten to that expense yet. There are uh, two queen size beds and a <clears throat> and a little mini mini queen. So queen size bed here, nice little like a L couch area. We got a microwave and a stereo, and you can. Send the music outside if you want. I got a fire extinguisher down there. A little, if you remember this. Yeah, a little night light <laughs> down at the bottom if you if you like. We have a three burner gas stove and a very small oven. But it works. Fold down cover. Some storage where Rose has her Keurig already. Can't live without it apparently. Our refrigerator here. So kind of a mini fridge, but yeah, you can feel it's cold. And I believe it has an ice box. Yes. And that feels pretty cold too. Oh yeah. Of course, it probably has something to do with the fact that it's been freezing all day long, but still. Got some uh, some storage underneath here. Another little storage cabinet. Here's a switch for the water pump and a little plug in. More storage. That's our. Uh, I 
forget if it's a converter or an inverter, but anyway, it's the power power source for this. Here's the uh, second queen size bed. We got plenty of lighting, and this is our uh, this is our shower and toilet. So let's set these guys down. It's called a cassette toilet because it's totally self-contained. We just put this shower curtain up yesterday. It's kind of an old shower curtain that we had. And let's see. toilet yes and this is the little to flush it you just turn this um, and then that drops whatever down into the catch basin a little towel and a little shower head for the shower so trying to figure out how we're gonna hang that up but at any rate um, This whole rail system that this is on, like there's two clips on this side, and the whole thing will come down, so I can put it into here when we fold this down. Basically, I unsnap this, it folds down here on top of everything. I put this cushion on top of that, and then it's, a, it's another seating area. So, I think it'll be nice to have a shower when we're traveling, if we don't want to get a hotel or whatever. I'm sure KOAs are a million times cheaper than hotel rooms, because they don't have to clean up after you. Got some more storage. So these are little plug-in fans with lights. So if you look up here, there's a little, there's a little, uh, looks like a audio jack but it's not it's a 12 volt jack and it powers these fans and there's a light on them so you'll have ventilation for the area at the bunk heads there is a pretty big air conditioning unit so in the summer we won't be dying however <laughs> you uh you can't run that even on just you know 120 plug-in so even though we're plugged in right now I can't run this because it takes a lot of power to start it and I don't have a 30 amp plug to the house so I'm gonna work on getting that got some more storage here the uh, table folds down and then there's little velcro strips on the on the far end It'll set down here, and then we put all four of these cushions down for when we lock this thing up and get ready to roll. This step also has a small little storage area. Oh, let's see. So we have, this is a gas furnace heater and that is the plug-in for the um, air conditioning when we finally get hooked up some more a little storage area nothing too big a little storage area here which is this is the one that's accessible from outside on the front side we've got a microwave stereo and uh, Oh yeah, an overhead fan. Oh. I must have that turned off somehow. Oh, apparently you have to open the open the window to get it to work. I guess that makes sense. You don't want to turn that on and it blows into itself that's not much use 
and it will it sucks air out and brings cool air in if you need it um, not sure there's a gang else I could show you I'm gonna take some pictures once I have the whole thing down and ready to lower the lower the roof or once I get everything put away that needs to be down you basically clear off the can clear off the counters and break down your tables and seat backs so that there's nothing above the uh, rail limit once you get that done you push in the bunks and you can uh, close the roof here's how you uh, take down our cool sink this works obviously Let's see if I can do this without damage anything just a little turn of the screw here and this will go all the way down into the counter we've got two sink wells so that's nice that's what it looks like all the way down uh, yeah and the stereo is decent I gotta I'm gonna probably upgrade it but you know it works for now. There's my, uh, there's my speaker. Now we got the two speakers outside. Oh, anyway, I've uh, seen it. This is our. Uh, Little privacy curtain in case you take a shower and for whatever reason there's somebody in there who you're not who you're not uh, intimate with. You're covered. They can't see more than your calves. And that that rail system works miraculously well for probably not having been used at all. And the full the full door comes up here, latches in, and then when you're when you tear this down, it's flat up against the roof and it stays there until you open it up again. Anyway, that's the trailer. I like it a lot. Oh yeah. A little a little clothes hanging rack if I can figure out how to get this down. There it is. <clears throat> Obviously, it's pretty small, and it's only attached to the roof, so it's not exactly, you know, can hold a grown adult. <laughs> I'm sure it can't hold a grown child, but anyway, something to hang your clothes on for in the morning in case you have to, you know, get up and go to work. But I like it. Back outside. And has brand new tires. They just uh, replaced them before we bought this. All the lights work and we spent some money getting the van ready to uh, run this whole thing. So, oh, and it has a uh, cool little lift system with a wheel on it and the good thing is that you know if you need to position it a little bit and you're on even ground this thing works great you can move it around without having to hook it up again but uh the bad news is that like we've we've been on uneven ground a lot and it doesn't work very well on dirt or in the mud at any rate, this is our uh, StarCraft 2006 3608 Centennial. And uh, say goodbye, Macy. Bye. All right, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.